questions and we'll start with Ashley Conklin from the Register Guard. Yes, sir. Brian, two years ago, you were in the rotation at receiver, but this is the most we've ever seen you play at safety. Just how has the transition gone for you from receiver to safety? And how'd you feel back there with so much playing time today? Um, the transition has been really good. Um, you know, Coach Yates put me in a great position. He told me my time would come and today was the day and it was an easy transition. He told me what to do and everything just came into play for me today. Uh, James Kripia, the Oregonian. Brian, kind of following with that, you would certainly gotten in plenty of games in dime over the first half of the season, but because either they don't throw at you or if they do, it's incomplete, you hadn't had a tackle. You match your career production and tackles today. Mm -hmm. How does it feel after all this time and these finite opportunities to have the production there as well? For me, it was big. Um, it was my time to shine and let, my, let myself go and go, go play freely. And that's what happened today. I went out there and made plays and, you know, and dime, you don't really get the opportunity to make as many plays, but today my time came. So I was able to make plays and strive out there. Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. And I imagine that's probably the most defense you've played since high school. I'm just yeah. curious on, on how you would assess your play today and, and filling in out there with Ferone, how helpful was, was he in kind of getting you in the right spots and stuff? Um, yeah, it has been a long time since I've played safety, but Verone, Verone McKinley put me in a great position. You know, he's always had my back. He's always been the leader of the room. So with him being out there, it kind of had me, I had like a back stand, I would say. You know, he was there to help me out and help me get into the flow of the game again. And once he got me in the flow, I was ready to go again. James Capia, the Oregon in. Brian, just what are you thinking between when Steve goes down, it's one thing, but then Damon and then eventually Verone for a handful of plays, just what are you thinking is, yes, on one hand, it's opportunity for you, but the, even the guys next to you are changing throughout the course of it. Um, it's just an opportunity. Um, coach puts us in a position, these type of predicaments every day at practice. We go through these positions that Tuesdays and Wednesdays, you don't know what could happen. So, you know, we're always ready to go at any per, any time. So, Ashley Conklin, the Register Guard. Brian, we don't see a lot of tall safeties here at Oregon too often. Just um, from a height standpoint, what does your size allow you to do that maybe gives you an advantage over some other safeties? I can get to a lot of passes that a lot of other safeties can't reach. I'm a more, I can get to uh, sideline to sideline faster than other safeties. I'm taller, so it's easier for me to get to those areas that smaller safeties can't get to. James. Brian, there's really no way to tell your story properly without getting into some things. So I ask this respectfully if you're willing. Yeah, because we haven't talked to you. How much, even in the last hour, man, have the last year and obviously a lot of heartache gone through your mind? Mm -hmm. um, for me, it was a big game. You know, my, my parents, you know, haven't been in my life for a long time. Losing my uh, father recently um, put me in another state where I had to, you know, lock in and be for my family. And today I just took it as a shot. And I know he was up there watching me. My whole family was watching me today. So I'm I hope made him proud today. Looks like that's all we have for you, Brian. Appreciate your time. Congrats on the win. Thank you. I appreciate you guys.